Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone9x here, and welcome back to another Command Block tutorial video. Now, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do Mob King Disguise commands in Minecraft. Now, the previous one we did was the Ender Dragon Disguise command, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Link will be in the description down below after you finish watching this video. So, so I've ended off the Mob Disguise series with the Ender Dragon uh, last time. But this one I feel like is going to top it all, so this one I just completely made up, so this Mob King Disguise Command, so basically it's a command that I made it so that you can basically be on the same team as every hostile mob in the game, including the passive ones, even though they don't attack you and such. Now, before I go into more detail on what that command gives you guys, you know the drill, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so here are all the commands right here, so there's a total of 35 commands into making this work. Yeah, I know it's uh, quite a lot, but don't worry guys, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can copy these commands into your world later on. Now, let us begin. So first off, as always, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So here's the Mob King Disguise helmet right here. And I'm going to just pick out a few random mobs, so let's do... Let's say a cave spider, maybe a blaze, no no, that's a blade, B. pillager, and I don't know, we'll just throw in a zombie too, even though they'll burn in daylight, let me do time set night for that. So I'm going to summon in these random mobs right here, and let's say, oh, wrong button, let's say I'm going to be attacked by a bunch of these mobs right over here. Well, except for that creeper that just blew up. Anyway, for these three... Again, this will work with aim up, so watch what happens when I put on the helmet. They all stop attacking me. Whether they're a pillager, zombie, blaze, spider, creeper, or any other mob, they will not attack me. And also the other thing is, I do not think these mobs will attack each other either, even if they get shot. So yeah, this is the helmet right here, and it gives you these five items. So it gives you the Sea King Trident, Golden Potion, Fireball, Wither Skull, and Dragon Fireball. I'll explain what those do in a second. And then also you get these buffs, Night Vision 3, Strength 5, and Resistance 5. So again, the good thing about this is that you can basically almost one-shot most mobs here, and they will not fight back. So I will demonstrate how um, these uh, what these items do, and also the when you hold the Sea Tri Sea King Trident in your hand, you get Conduit Power Four for like a few seconds, just in case you need to do some mining underwater and such. I get left that many seconds. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna show you what this Golden Potion does. So I made it so that the lore says a drink fit for a king. Yeah, I, I know it's a typo. I'll fix that later, but let me show you how it works. So what that potion gives me, it says down here, it gives you health boost, health boost 9, I believe. No, health boost 10, jump boost 10, regeneration 7 for only 2 seconds to get you your hearts up. Slow falling 2 and speed 2. So, you're ba so you basically have a lot of power to boot. And I'm going to show you what the Sea King Trident does. So it's got Sharpness 5 and Channeling 3. But the other cool thing is that when you throw it, you can actually summon lightning every time you throw at it. Pretty nice, huh? And you can also use this for attacking up close as well. Okay, anyway, what do we else we got? We got Fireball. So I made this special snowball that when you throw it, it, can, it will basically explode into a fire. Explode the ground, really, like a fireball would. And you can basically spam this as much as you want, really. Make big explosions. Next, we got the Wither Skull, so I would probably need some more mobs to test this out, so. Okay, so let me get some. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more zombies this time. So, watch what happens when you throw the, this down. So it will both explode the Wither Skull and create a temporary Wither Aura to mobs around it, thus 
withering them, because that's what the wither skull is supposed to do. It by itself doesn't really do much to a to many mobs around it, so I made it so that it would hit multiple mobs at the same time. And they were basically all withered to death. Okay, so... One of the... I also made this dragon fireball. So you guys have probably remembered this one from my Ender Dragon Disguise video. So when you throw it, you can basically throw dragon fire at, right in the palm of your hand with this thing. So again, you can pretty much spam this as much as you want. Undead mobs don't take damage from this, but again, it's still pretty cool that you can throw all this down. And as always, when you uh, take the helmet take the helmet off, all the mobs will start attacking you again. But you still get the buffs because, well, the potion... The potion you drank, really, because that can last for a few minutes. So you can pretty much benefit from the potion a bit, even when you're not wearing the helmet anymore. But if you want to get rid of it quickly, just you can basically just drink a milk bucket. And the effects will be gone. And that's pretty much how this command works. So now that I've shown you that, let's go over all these commands. So this first one over here is uh, self-explanatory. So when the player head named Mob King Disguise Helmet is selected, it's going to run effect give at S Minecraft colon Night Vision 3 and True for No Particle effect. This one over here gives me Resistance 5 over here. This one over here gives me Strength 5. This one over here gives me the special Trident, called CK Trident. This one over here gives me the special uh, Snowball, called Fireball, right here. This one gives me the, spe the second special Snowball, called Wither Skull, right here, and it, not an actual skull. And then this one gives me the third special snowball called the Dragon Fireball. And then this one over here gives you the special golden potion. When you have the helmet on. And hold on, let me um, go back real quick to fix this lore right here. Because it's supposed to say for, not of. Sorry about that. So, that's that command. And then this one over here creates a team called Mobs. This one over here has every mob join that team. And then these two over here activate the lightning powers for the trident. So this first bit is just basically when the trident named Z King trident is selected, it's going to run execute as at E type equals trident at S run summon minecraft colon area underscore effect underscore cloud three squiggly lines comma duration two seconds and with the tag lightning underscore trident and then this one over here is uh, kind of the same first bit and then we got execute as at e type equals minecraft colon area underscore effect underscore cloud comma tag equals lightning underscore trident at S unless entity at E type equals Minecraft colon trident comma distance equals dot dot three run summon Minecraft lightning bolt with the three squiggly lines. So that's how you can summon the lightning bolt. And then this one over here activates the C powers of the trident. So this one just basically gives you the conduit powers when you hold the trident in your hand. This one over here just basically removes all tridents when they hit the ground. So when the player head named Mob King Disguise Helmet is selected, it's gonna run this. Run kill at E type equals Minecraft colon trident, comma MBT equals in ground colon 1B and then close all brackets. Okay, so this one over here has the user join that team. This one over here removes the team when the helmet is off. These first three over here activate the 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 fireball or the special snowball, at least the first one. 
So it's basically no different than the one with the trident. Just basically means when the snowball and fireball is selected, it's going to basically execute with the type snowball. And then again, same thing except with the tag gas underscore fire. Because, well, the gas are the ones that fire these sorts of things. And again, same first bit for this one over here, except we're going to have the tag gas underscore fire, and then make sure that it's the type is selected as snowball right here, and then it's going to run summon Minecraft fireball three squiggly lines, and then explosion power three motion, and then inside the brackets 0, .0, 0.0 comma negative 1.0 comma 0, 0 and then we close both brackets this one over here just gives the zero gravity effect for the snowball making it so you can shoot in a straight line so again when the snowball named fireball is selected it's going to run this execute at e type equals snowball run data merge entity at e type equals minecraft colon snowball comma limit equals one comma mbt equals exclamation mark inside the brackets no gravity colon 1b close brackets and then we got no gravity again in the end this one over here just basically makes the flame particle trail when you f throw the snowball so again when the snowball name fireball selected it's going to execute at e type snowball again then it's going to run this Particle Minecraft colon flame, three squiggly lines, point one three times here, and then point zero one five, and then force at the end. So that's those three. And then these three over here just do the same thing. Activate the, the wither skull, or aka the second snowball right here. So same thing except the tag is a wither fire. And same thing over here in that part of the command. And then it's going to run summon Minecraft colon wither underscore skull. And then three squiggly lines and then explosion power colon five. And then same motion tag right here. This one over here is just basically the exact same thing. Just targeting the, the special snowball named wither skull. This one over here just simply makes the smoke particle trail for that snowball as well and then these next three over here act do the exact same thing for the dragon fireball so again same thing except that this tag is going to be dragon underscore fire same thing over here in this tag right here and then it's going to, oh, hold on, I went too far. This one is summon Minecraft colon dragon underscore fireball, then three squiggly lines, explosion power colon 25, and then the same motion tag right over here. This one over here just does the exact same thing. That makes it zero gravity when it, when the fire dragon fireball is selected. This one over here does the same thing as the other two, except this one fires a dragon breath particle trail when you fire the, the dragon fireball snowball. And then these last few over here just basically remove stuff when the helmet is off. So this one over here removes the Sea King Trident when the helmet is off. This one over here removes snowball number one, aka the fireball when the helmet is off. This one removes the wither skull snowball when the helmet is off. This one over here removes the snowball called dragon fireball when the helmet is off. And then this one over here removes the golden potion when the helmet is off. And I want to make sure that, yeah, I changed this so that it will target that potion for sure. And then this last one over here, this one just basically removes all the snowballs that are still in the air or have the no gravity tag when the helmet is off. So again, that basically means... Oh, 
Hold on, let me put this on. So let's say, for instance, you fire some of the snowballs in the air accidentally, and it won't disappear. So when you have the snowballs... Or let me do it this way, so you can see. Let's do it that way. So when you take the helmet off, that snowball will immediately disappear. And yeah, that is pretty much Bob King Disguise Commands in Minecraft. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up for today's video. And also wrap up this uh, Bob Disguise series, at least for now, anyway. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that, guys, thanks for watching and also hope you enjoyed my Mob Disguise series. And I'll see you guys next week in the next one. Goodbye!